Hi, I'm Christina. And I'm Victoria. And we would like to welcome you to another episode of Creature Feature, the weekly whale museum series that explores marine creatures, their interesting features, and how we can help protect our underwater friends. And this week, we have a very special feature for you. You might recognize our next creature because of the giant tusk that grows from their head. We're talking about narwhals. Narwhals are marine mammals that live in the Arctic Ocean. They can weigh up to 3,000 pounds, hold their breath for 25 minutes, and dive over a mile deep in the water. That is so cool. But Victoria, did you know this isn't actually a tusk? It's not? No. The narwhal tusk is a tooth. Really? Yes. Isn't that amazing? It's attached to their upper jaw and gums, just like mine or yours, but it grows right through their upper lip. Talk about a lip piercing. Yes. And this tooth? Well, this one can extend up to 10 feet long. <gasps> it is also thought to be used in mating rituals as males are usually ones that grow the tooth and it's rarely found in females. Over the years, many legends and stories were created about narwhals and their terrific tusks. The Inuit people have a myth that the narwhal was once a woman who had long, beautiful hair that she would twist into a tusk-like braid. Her blind son was said to have tied her to a humongous white whale, causing her to drown. This was not the end of her story, however, as she was transformed into a narwhal. That's fascinating. Did you know that medieval Europeans actually believed that the narwhal tusk, tooth, was the horn of a mystical unicorn? In fact, many believe it had magical powers and healing properties, and shavings of the horn could even save you from deadly poison. This made the narwhal tusk very valuable, and sadly, many were killed because of it. Oh no. Today, narwhals are classified as near-threatened and are safeguarded under the Marine Mammal Protection Act, which celebrates its 50-year anniversary this year. Overhunting is not the only thing that affects their population. Climate change and melting ice packs have changed their habitat too quickly for them to adapt. Shipping, underwater construction, and underwater military activities cause noise pollution in Arctic waters that disrupt a narwhal's way of life. Wow. Well, we can try to ensure the survival of the narwhal population by prohibiting the hunting of narwhals and trading of their tusks. We can monitor and restrict human activities in areas narwhals tend to frequent. We can also do our part to limit climate change by reducing the use of fossil fuels, switching to renewable sources of energy, and doing whatever we can to reduce carbon emissions. Christina, do you want to learn more about narwhals? Oh, absolutely. Then please join us this Wednesday at the New Bedford Whaling Museum at 11 o'clock a.m. More information can be found on the museum's website at whalingmuseum.org. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next week for our next Creature, Creature Feature. Feature.